Okay, Karen, I'm going to unmute you and show your video here. We just, yeah. So I can see what I'm looking at. I can't see anything. Okay. Looks good. Mm, it could be up a little bit, but it'll be fine. I wanted to be, wanted them to be able to see the mat. Are they on? Uh, we have uh, Amanda and Riza on. I'm holding off on the live feed. If you want to move it down a little bit, go. We have time. It's it's only four thirty one. We're doing great. Don't worry about it. You want to move it down a little bit? I, I can't tell you. I I, I have the uh, I have the control bar here. Let me see if that because I had to move my little setup there. See if that helps a little bit. I don't want to be naked to whatever. No, <clears throat> I think you went. You went yeah, off. we're good. We're going to leave it where it was. I think it'll be fine. We'll make it. Okay, everybody enjoy class. Thanks for coming, Karen. I'm going to, I'm going to turn you on here. Um, okay, sounds good. All righty. Have a good class, everybody. All right, we're ready to go. All right, we're going into a fit. I've got some uh, heavier weights, eights. I've got a set of fives, and I've got a set of twos. A little bit of a heavier weight and a, and a lighter weight, for sure. That's what you'll need. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with our warm up. Let's see if you can see my feet too well. And here we go. We're going to start. We're jogging. Jogging or marching. Let's go to high knees. We'll get our five minute warm up in. Make sure you're breathing. Go to our marching or jogging. Skaters, take a step back, up and over, and back. Here we go. You can always add your hop to it if you want. Two more, we're going to go back for a march. 
Here we go. Start your jog. Samples. Right into half jacks. We're gonna take a step out straight. Take a step out straight. Or jumping jacks. Whatever you prefer. On each side. Here we go. Jogging or marching. here and let's go into some back lunges so feet are hip distance apart I'm going to take one step back feet stay hip distance apart I'm going to drop that back knee and press through the front foot and we're going to bring that back up take a step back drop the back knee press through the front foot keeping those legs hip distance here we go 30 seconds Make sure you drop the back knee. Nice alignment in the front. I'm going to switch myself to a little bit of a lighter weight. Fives are okay though for flies. Feet are hip distance. I'm going to hip hinge back. Keep my abs in. Light bend in the elbow. Nice line from my head all the way down. Here, quick crack here. And here we go. Inhale here. Bring the shoulder blades together, closer together. Here we go. Reverse flies. Mid back work, back of the shoulders. Two and one. Bring yourself back up and switch it up. And we are going into side lunges. My feet are hip distance. I'm going to take a big step out. By the time my heel hits, I'm pushing my booty back, weights to the outside. I'm going to push it off and take a step out. Nice straight back here. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Oh. 
Keep those abs in. Hip knee, second toe alignment. On the front, push your booty back there. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it in. Reverse slides. Shoulder blades are back and down. Feet are hip twisted. Tummy's tight. Little bend in the elbow. There we go. Fifteen, fourteen. Abs are tight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Control it on the way back. Two and one. Nice job. We're going back into leg work. Lunges to the front here. I'm going to take a step forward and I'm going to push it right back. All right. Feet stay hip, dis hip distance. Take a step. Drop the back knee and push it back. Take a step. Whoop, drop the back knee and push it back. 30 seconds. Drop the back knee so you don't slide that front knee forward over the toe. Keep the heel down in the front. Inhale here and exhale, push through. 20, 19, 8, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, we're alternating, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up. Here we go. Reverse flies. Abs are in, hip hinge back, tummy's tight, and we're going a little bend. 30 seconds. Shoulder blades are stable. We're back and down to start. 20 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze your ghost and bring yourself up. All right, we are coming down to the mat. We are going into push ups. We are going to need your paper plates, uh, your gliders. If you don't have gliders, We'll do a modification. You can do it without the gliders. But if you do have a set of paper plates, grab those. If you're on hardwood, you'll need like washcloths uh, for gliding on there. All right, we are starting with our push ups. Bring yourself down to the mat. Hands are underneath of the shoulders, fingertips forward, and the shoulder blades are back and down. You can come to the full push up position if you'd like or drop to the knees, whatever works. I need to get rid of my little ball there. All right, tummy's tight, here we go. 30 seconds, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, lower at a 45 and push it up. Inhale, lower and push. Keep your head in alignment with your back. I'll be cranking it forward or dropping it down. 17, 16. 10 seconds. 2 and 1. Push yourself back and into a little shell stretch. 
Take an inhale here and an exhale. I'm gonna grab my gliders. I'm gonna roll my mat up real quick. It's gonna be a little bit of, bit of a adjusting in between. And here I go. I've got my feet on my gliders. And I'm bringing myself up into that plank position, full plank position. Shoulder blades are back and down. In and out, right? No bouncing in the low back. Pelvic four at a time. I'm up on the hands for this one. Yeah, this side. Two, one, drop it down. Whew. Quick little break. We've got two more of those, but we'll do them on elbows for the other two. All right. The man is down. I'm going back into my push ups. Hands are underneath of the shoulders, fingertips forward. And here we go. Tummy's tight. Inhale, lower and push. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Shell stretch. Woo. Take an inhale and an exhale. And bring yourself up. I'm going to put my mat up, grab my gliders, and I'm on plank in and out on the elbows. Elbows are down, shoulder blades are back and down. Tummy's tight, get your abs in, and here we go. Pop it up, out and in. Half and glue, pop it for an inner thigh. Exhale as you bring it in. You don't have a plate, take it out, bring it in. Take it out, bring it in. Three, two, one. Woo, set it down. Give yourself a little break. Take an inhale and an exhale. And let's go back to those push ups. We got one more round like this. Hands are underneath the shoulders and the shoulder blades are back and down. Fingertips are forward. Here we go. Inhale, flex to the 45 and push it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up and shell stretch. Woo. Give yourself a little break. All right, last one. Plank in and out. Flipping my mat up. For you, you might just be able to move down towards the end of your mat. Without having to adjust. All right, and I'm on my elbows. Elbows underneath the shoulders and the shoulder blades are back and down. I'm going to pop myself up. Here we go. In and out. Inhale, exhale. 35. Those abs tight. Exhale when you bring the legs together. Three, two, one. Woo. Set those knees down. Oh, and a shell stretch. Take an inhale and an exhale here. And bring yourself up. Good work, everybody. All right. We are up. We are going into squat with abduction and uh, let pull apart. I've got my fives. 
the leg work. Whew. Shoulder blades are back and down. <sighs> My feet are hip distance. I'm gonna hip hinge back. Drop my booty, nice long line from my head to my crick crack. I'm going to bring it up and abduct the leg straight out to the side. Here we go. 30 seconds, we're alternating with the hip abduction. All right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I'm going to bring my weights here. Better. Pick up the pace. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Nice job. Grab your band. Ooh. Arms are up. If you don't have a band, you can use, uh, just go through the range of motion. Feet are hip distance apart. Stabilize your shoulders. Inhale here, exhale, pull the band apart, pull it down. The band should come just about in alignment with your armpits and you're gonna bring it back up. Here we go, 30 seconds. Pull it apart and keep pulling as you're pulling it down. Three, two, and one. I'm going to go to my squats with lifts, hip abduction. I got my lower weight. Here we go. Come to hip hinge back and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Here we go. 30 seconds. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Oh, two, last one, and lift. Nice job. All right. I'm going to go to our lap, pull apart. Grab your bands. Arms are up. One second little break, I'm gonna need that. Here we go. Shoulder blades are stable. 30 seconds. Go at a pace that works for you. As long as you can control the movement pattern. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. One more. For a squat process, and you don't have to use any weights if you don't want. No weights would be fine as well. Feet or hip distance, here we go. Hip hinge back, squat and lift. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Your weight's close to you.
five, four, three, two, one, and lift. Good job. Oh. All right, we are going to lap pull apart. Last set. Arms are up. Shoulder blades are stable. We're not elevated up. And here we go. Inhale here. Exhale, pull it apart and pull it down. Six, four, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, we are going on to the mat for some core work. I'm going to use my ball. You can use nothing. You can use a small ball. You can use a pillow. We're going into those pipe gases, what they call pipe gas, and obliques or bicycles. I'm going to use my stability ball, but you can use a small ball, pillow, or nothing. All right, I'm going to scoop myself down here, roll myself down to the mat. And I've got my ball here. I'm going to pass the ball in between my feet. Lower and inhale, bring it up. Make sure that your low back isn't lifting on the lower of the legs and keep the lowering of the legs in a range of motion that works. If you can go all the way down, great. If not, stay with what works. Don't pop your rib cage. Here we go. 30 seconds. Last one and one. I'm gonna set my ball off to the side. We are going in choke legs. This is a little core around here. Fingertips are behind the ears, elbows wide. And print if you need to, tabletop and have the chin flex forward and bicycles. Here you go. Arms to the opposite kneecap. And go. Elbows wide. Two and center and release yourself down. Give yourself a little break. And we are going back into our little pipe pass, as I call them, or leg lowering lifts. Here we go. 30 seconds. Three and one. Woo. Back into our oblique. Fingertips behind the ears and print if you need to. Nod the chin, hold your apple. Exhale, collect. If the bottom of your shoulder blade is on the mat, keep those abs in. Here we go. Exhale, extend, rotate, inhale, exhale, switch. 30 seconds. Woo. Two and said 
temperature release. Ooh, wee. All right, a good sweat. 10 second little break here, and we're going back to our leg lowering lifts. Here we go. And go. Oh. Four, two, and one. Ah. And bring it up. All right. Last round for our obliques. Fingertips are behind the ears and the elbows are wide. Abs are in. Imprint if you need to. Table tap. And here we go. Knock your chin, flex forward, 30 seconds. everybody. That was a hard round. Whew. All right, you can either roll yourself to one side, bring yourself up, or rock yourself up to a seated position. Careful coming up. After all that, you don't want to get dizzy. All right, and we are going back into some shoulder work here. I'm going to grab my little shoes. And we're going to do shoulder presses and bicep curls. <laughs> shoulder presses and bicep curls. So we're standing with the feet hip distance apart. We're going to start with the palms facing. We're going to press it up, rotate the palms away, and bring it back down. Press it up, rotate the palms away, and you're going to bring it back down. 30 seconds. Really don't need too heavy a weight here. Fours are probably more than heavy enough. Shoulder blades are stable, so not elevating. Rotating the palms away. Four, three, two and one. I'm going to switch my weight up a little bit heavier. I'm going to go into my fives and I'm going to do bicep curls. Palms are facing each other, shoulder blades are back and down and we're starting. Here we go. Quicker on the way up, slower on the way down. Last two. And last one. And bring it back. I'm going to dip down to my little twos and I'm doing it, going into my shoulders. Here we go. Palms facing. I'm going to press it up, stack it over the shoulders, palms facing away, and bring it back. 30 seconds. Those the abs in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. It doesn't take much to fatigue the shoulders. Palms forward. 
We're going into our biceps, second set. Tummy's tight and we're curling. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Last round for shoulders. And here we go. Shoulder blades are back and down stable. Press it up and rotate the palms away. Here we go, 30 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Next round for biceps. Shoulder blades are back and down, and we're curling. 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it down. All right, we're gonna go get our heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna start with some quick feet. Feet are hip distance apart. You're gonna hip hinge back. You have your athletic stance, like you're gonna play tennis. Tummy's tight. It's in and out, out, in and out, out, in and out, out. 30 seconds. That's what you can go. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. I'm going to grab my twos. You can use up to a four weight. Tricep kickbacks. Feet are hip distance. I'm going to hip hinge back, roll it back, and I'm going to kick it back. 30 seconds. Controlling it on the way back. Exhale as you kick it back. Inhale on the return. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, small jumps. Feet are hip distance. You can always go to a march. You can go to high knees if you want. Step pulls. You can use any of the warm up exercises if the impact is not in your wheelhouse. All right, feet are hip distance, tummy tight. My feet are just going to leave the mat and I'm back down. Bend those knees. So you have some shock absorption. We're moving. Pick the piece up. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Tricep so kick back. Feet are hip distance, abs are in, hinge it back, shoulder blades are back and down, row it up, and go. Exhale on the kickback. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze <clears throat> your boots, bring it up. I'll lose my voice. 
Excuse me, here we go. All right, jumping jacks or half jacks? I'm gonna try to get through the jumping jacks. 30 seconds, here we go. Ten seconds, seven, six, five, three, two, one, bring it in. Last one for tricep kickbacks. Whew. Tummy's tight, hip hinge it back, abs are in. Row it back, and we're kicking it back. Squeeze the back of your arm while it's up there. If you have your elbows closer to the side, it's not going to get into the triceps as much. You can try and almost get the back of that arm flat to the ceiling. Keep your neck long. Ten seconds. Four, three, Two and last one. Squeeze your glutes and bring it up. Oh, nice work, you guys. All right, I want to try to do a little bit of side crunches or a little bit more obliques. Make sure I've got everything down and I didn't miss any in my workout. All right, we're going to come on down to the mat first. We're going to do a little bit of back extension. We're going to go into skydivers. If skydivers aren't in your wheelhouse, you can modify by breaststroke prep one or two. I'll give the modification for one. Whew. We're all the way down on the mat here. Legs are hip distance apart and parallel. Arms are in a football goal post position. You're going to set it down on the mat. Zip up your abs, squeeze your butt. Inhale here, breathe in. Exhale, lift the chest, your head will follow. Last rib is in contact with the mat and the eye line is off the front end there. You're gonna inhale here, breathe in, and exhale, set it down. Skydivers for four. Here we go, zip your abs, squeeze your glutes, inhale here. Exhale, lift the arms and legs. Inhale here, breathe in, and exhale, set it down. Zip your abs, squeeze your butt, inhale here, breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay. Exhale, set it back down. Your grab, squeeze your butt. Exhale, lift. Inhale, stay. Exhale, set it down. Keep it out of your low back. Squeeze your butt. Pull up on those abs. Pull up on the pelvic floor. Inhale, here, breathe in. Zip and squeeze. Exhale, lift. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt. Breathe in. Exhale, set it down. All right, shell stretch. Keep together, knees together. Take an inhale and an exhale. I'm gonna try to give in a little bit of side work. So I'm gonna be on the stability ball. You can use a side crunch as a modification. Um, uh, an oblique crunch. You can use a side plank as a modification. Here we go for the oblique, you're down here, you're gonna drop your knees out to one side. Knees are together, feet are together, and the fingertips are behind the head to support. Eye line is up to the ceiling, you're gonna nod the chin, hold the apple. Flex and release, and release, and release. All right, for the modification, I tried to set myself up here so you guys can kind of see in case somebody does have a stability ball. I'm gonna use my uh, beam here as a support, but you would put your feet up against the wall, like on the baseboard, on the molding at the bottom by the carpet of the floor. You can either have your top leg front, which is a little bit more challenging because your hip can't open up, or the top leg is behind. I'm gonna do it to the front just because it feels better to me. So I got my feet here up against the molding and I'm in a scissored position, my legs. And so now my upper body is the lever here. Let's see how I do. 
All right, I'm gonna straighten that back leg up. So both my legs are straight, and I'm using my body for the lever, and I'm lifting. I'm gonna get down just a little bit. You have to find your sweet spot. And it is a challenge for balancing as well. You have to find that space. There we go. You can bring your hands out here even, or behind. It's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. You can hold the weight. Maybe seconds. You could use the little round ball as well. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it up. I'm gonna have my back to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll have to move you to the other pole. It'll be good. You can see what it looks like from the back as well. I got my hip on there and I'm braced in and I'm in one long line and I'm lifting. Twenty seconds. You can use your weight. Hands behind the ears. Ten seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, let's go into our stretches. Those are very challenging. We're going to bring ourselves down to the mat. You can use your band or a Towel if you want for the stretches. We're going to lie to our side. Reach back, grab the ankle, and draw the heel up towards your glute, your butt. Get that knee right in alignment with the hip so it's not floating in space. So we're going to switch sides. Switch mm -hmm. back, grab that ankle. We lucked out, we got such good weather today. Nice. All right. I'm going to place my band on my right foot. No tension on the band. I'm going to bring the band in. I'm just going to pull the knee towards my chest. Get it under my shin. Send the leg up. Band in each hand. Pull the elbows down at a 45. Dorsey flex and pull that leg in. You can always bend the bottom knee if you need to. Bend the top knee a little bit if you need to. Keep your sacrum down. No bends in the wrist. Two minutes here. Bring your bands together. Right hand over. You're going to drop that leg out to the side. Supporting it in your band. Your left hip is down. You're going to bring that leg up. You're going to draw the leg over wherever that range of motion is. Mine is going to be to the bench today. <laughs> Careful of your low back on the twist. That right peak is going to lift off the floor. You can bring it up. You can always flex the left knee, right ankle over and thread through if you're not using a band for that. And we're switching sides. I've got my left foot in, 
no tension on the band. I'm going to reach down, grab my shin, and pull it in towards the chest. Abandoning chance, send the leg up, dorsiflex the ankle, pull the elbows down, wipe through collarbone, no bends in the wrist, keep your sacrum down. Bring the bands together, left hand over the top of the band, drop that leg out, you can go all the way to the floor. Mine's going to be to the bench today. Again, leave your hip down, opposite hip down. And bring that leg up and over. Careful of your low back on the twist. Your left cheek is going to lift. It bothers your shoulder, your left shoulder. It feels like it's being overly stretched. Bring that arm in closer to the body. Bring that leg up. I'm going to bend my right knee, reach behind the left, and I'm going to rock myself up to seated. You're sitting front. Shoulder blades are back and down. You're going to reach the right arm out, reach below the elbow, you're going to pull it across. And you're going to switch, tummy's tight, reach below, pull it across. One hand behind, abs are pulled in, reach back with the opposite hand, grab that elbow, keep those abs in, lengthen up through the spine as you pull that elbow back. And switch, abs are in, lengthen up through the spine, grow tall. Five, four, three, two, and one, and release. All right, you guys, thanks for coming out on a Friday. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Yeah, great class, Karen. Kept us moving thanks. the whole time. Thank you. Yeah, okay, everybody, have a great weekend. Well, actually, a great Friday night because we're going to see you in the morning. Uh, great day of classes. Have a nice night. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.